All right, guys, so in this project, we're going to continue on with the the UI that we used in the last section to explore the DOM. And we're going to make it an actual application where we can add tasks, where we can list them, we can filter through them, delete them, and also persist them to local storage so that they get saved. They don't just disappear when we reload the page. All right, now I want to start from absolute scratch. I know we already had the UI, but there's going to be a little, a, a, a few differences. So I wanted to just start from scratch with this project. So let's create a folder called task list. And inside there, let's actually open it up with VS Code <clears throat> or whatever text editor you want. And we're going to create our two files, which are index.html and app.js. Okay, and in the index HTML, we're going to create our UI. Okay, so let's go ahead and add with Emmet. We'll just add some basic head and body tags in the title here. I'm just going to say task list. And we want to include materialize. So if you go to materialize.css.com, go to get started. We want to grab the CSS link right here and throw that right above the title. We also want the JavaScript link here. And we're going to throw that down the bottom right above the ending body tag. Now, uh, materialize also needs jQuery as a dependency. So we're going to search for jQuery CDN. And we're going to grab, we'll just grab version three uncompressed and grab the script. And we'll put that, make sure you put it above the materialize. And then the last external script we need is font awesome. So I'm going to search for font awesome CDN. This first link here. And let's just grab this link right here and put that. Let's see, we'll put that right below materialize. All right, so we'll save this and let's open it with live server. Or of course, you could just open it from your file system. And we just have a blank page. So let's go ahead and go into the body. Actually, before I do that, before I forget, let's go down to the bottom here and put in our script tag for our app.js file. I always seem to forget that. So now in the body, we're going to have a container. This is going to be very, very similar to what we've been doing, the, the UI we've been working with. We're going to have a row. Inside here, we'll have a call class with an S12 class. And inside here, we'll have a div with the ID of main and then the class of card. OK, a card is going to give it a border, give it some padding, box shadow, things like that. And then inside there, we'll have a class called card content. Inside the card content, we're going to have our title, which is going to go in a span with the class of card dash title. And in here, we're going to just say task list. All right. So if I save that so far, it's going to look like this. All right. So now let's go under the span. And let's put in another row, <coughs> excuse me, another row class. And inside the row, we'll have our form. So the form is going to have an ID of task dash form, no action. And then inside the form, we just want one field, which will be wrapped in a div with an input dash field class, also a call and an S12 class. OK, and then in here we'll have an input type text. And let's give it a name. We'll give it a name of task and an ID of task. All right. And then under that, we'll have the label. So label for task and we'll just say task name. Or actually, let's say new task. Like that. All right. And then under this div, we're going to have the input, which is going to be a submit value. We'll say add task and then we'll give it a class of BTN. All right. Let's save that. And that's what it should look like. 
So now we want to go under, let's see, we're going to go under the card content, which ends right here. And we're going to have a class called card dash action like that. And in this card action, we're going to have an H5, which I'm going to give an ID of task dash title. I'm not sure if we need that, but we'll just put it anyway. All right, so we have our H5. Then we want to have a filter input, okay? Because what I want to do is I want to have our list of tasks and I want to be able to filter through them. So as we type, it'll filter through the list. So what I'm going to do is copy this div with the input. Okay, we don't actually need a form tag. We're not submitting it. It's going to be just a dynamic input. Uh, but we're going to change the name to filter. And we're going to change the ID to filter. All right, and then let's change this to filter and we'll say filter tasks. All right, and then underneath the div right here will be our a UL and we're going to give this a class of collection. So that's going to be where our list items will be put in dynamically. All right, and then under that we just want a clear tasks button which will actually be a link. So we'll do an A tag with the class of clear dash tasks also a class of btn and also a class of black which will make the button black okay and the href will just be a hash and then the text will just say clear tasks all right let's save that and there we go so that should do it for the ui so now let's go to our app.js file and from here what i want to do first is define our UI uh, variables. So define UI vars. So one will be the form. I'm going to put it in a variable called form. Set it to document dot. And let's use query selector. You can use <clears throat> you can use get element by ID if you want to. If you do use query selector, make sure you put the hash in there. And that's called task form. We also want the task list, which is going to be the UL. So document dot query selector. Now that has a class of collection, so we're going to say dot collection. OK, next thing we want is the clear button, Let's say clear BTN. And we'll use query selector. And that had a class of clear dash tasks. And then let's grab the filter. So that'll be query selector. And that was an ID of filter. And then last one is going to be the task input. So that'll be uh, query selector and that was an ID of task. OK, so task input is this right here. Filter is this clear button. Um, task list will be the UL and then the form is this form here. So those are the UI variables that we're going to need. Now we're going to need to submit on the on the form on the task form. Uh, instead of just putting it in the global scope, though, I'm going to call a function to load all event listeners. So we'll say load event listeners. And then we'll create that function. And inside here, let's do the add task form or add task event. So we're going to take that form variable we created and call add event listener. And in here, we're going to say submit. And we're going to call a function called add task. OK, 
Okay, so let's create that function. Okay, now this will take in an event object here since it's a, an event handler and we want to make sure that we prevent the default from happening the, the default behavior which is a form submit and then in here let's make sure that there's actually a value here so we'll put a quick if statement here and let's say if task input dot value is equal to nothing Okay, so if nothing's entered, then let's just do an alert and let's say add a task. So if I go ahead and save and I try to click this, we get add a task. If I put something in, nothing happens. All right, now what do we want to happen when we actually add a task? We want to create a list item, right? So we're gonna want to create that from scratch. So let's say create li element. So const li, and we'll set that to document dot create element. We want to create an li element. All right, then we want to add a class. So li dot class name is going to equal collection item. Okay, we're doing that because in materialize, if you want it to your ULs to look good. Your UL should have a class of collection, which it does, and each list item should have a class of collection item. All right, now we want to create the text node. Let's say create text node and append to the li. So we can do that by saying li.append child. And then to create a text node, we say document dot create text node and in here we want whatever is passed into the input to be the text node so that would be task input dot value okay next thing we want to do is create a new link element because we're going to have that x link that um, that delete link that icon so let's say add or no we'll say create new link element so we'll say const link equals document dot create element and we want to create an a tag then we want to add the class to that so we'll say link dot class name equals and it's going to be delete delete item and also secondary content okay because if you want something to the right of a, a list item in materialize it has to have this secondary content class all right then we just want to add the icon HTML so link dot inner HTML equals and that's going to be our i tag we're going to give it a class of fa and fa dash remove which is an x mark icon oops double quote should be right here so that's the inner html then we want to append the link to the li and we can do that with li dot append child and pass in the link Okay, so then what we want to do is append the li to the ul. All right, because up to this point, if we were to console log li, if we go in here and we say my task, open up our console, submit, we get an li class collection item. Inside we have the, the text node, then we have the link. Inside the link we have our i tag. So everything is there, everything is formatted. We just need to simply append it to the UL. So we're going to say task list, because that's what we defined up here as the UL with the class of collection. 
and then we just want to do append child li. Okay, and then once we do that, let's clear the input by simply saying task input dot value equals nothing. And that should do it. So let's save. Let's go over here and let's say task one add. And there it is, task one. Let's add task two, task three. There we go. If I reload, it's going to go away because it's not persisting. It's just in the UI. But we can now add tasks. All right. So in the next video, what I want to do is make it so that we can click the delete button that's there so that we can delete tasks as well as filter through them and clear them.